John, we're here at Mac 2018. The Tornos stand looks impressive, as I would have uh, as I would have thought. What are you actually showing this week? Well, hello, Paul, and uh, thank you very much for the comments. This week we are showing two machines from the range of uh, 17 uh, turning and milling models that we have. So behind me here, the GT32 is, is one of three machines in a series, uh, 26 and 13 millimeter. This one's a six axis machine, can run bush or bushless, and uh, we're demonstrating on this particular machine here our active chip brake software on some uh, plastic, which is normally the, the worst kind of material to, uh, to machines. Uh, we'll pick up on a couple of those points in a minute, actually, because the active um, chip breaking software is quite interesting because there's a lot of talk about that at the moment. Also, the other machine over here is Swiss Nano. That's for small, uh, small components, watch parts. Is, is that correct? Correct, yeah. The Swiss Nano is a four millimeter machine. Uh, so traditionally, watchmaker market from, from Switzerland, but it's become very popular globally for other small markets like electronic connectors. Uh, well, well, I was over in Switzerland uh, a couple of weeks ago at the factory, as some of our viewers may have seen. One of the interesting points on that Swiss Nano is it's now, there's now going to be a 12 mil machine, isn't there? Um, there's going to be a larger size. Actually, it's a, it's a 7 millimeter. But uh, yes, that machine is, is due uh, for last quarter this year. For, for machines. And is that going to open up a lot of new markets for you with that machine? Certainly in the UK for us it will be fantastic because in the electronics market there is a need for for the larger capacity not not exceeding seven um, millimeter but also having uh, a few more live tools on the machine which uh, the connector guys like for being able to do operations in the back like slotting etc which uh, give, will give them more flexibility than the, uh, the live tool setup we have at the moment. I mean, it's got a really unique look about that machine, yes. isn't it? You know, a lot of machine tools have lots of similarities in the way they look. I don't know another machine that looks like that, so that, that's, a, that's a good thing for Tornos. Coming back onto the GT machine, how new is this, this range? The, the GT's been out, uh, you put me on the spot now, I think about uh, three, yeah, three years now, the GT. Um, so we started off with the, the first two smaller sizes, 13 and 26, and we've developed into the 32. So, yeah. It's, it's quite a sophisticated machine, this one, isn't it? Again, can you, can you have B-axis uh, you know, activity on here as well? Yeah, B-axis is an option, so that, that gives you B-axis on both main and counter spindle. But it is a full six-axis, which means that you have a Y-axis on both ends and I've not counted in actually in the six axis, uh, a C axis also on the main and counter spindles as well. So, so it's quite a capable machine there. Now what, what's the markets that you're uh, tackling with this? Uh, the markets are varied. Um, as an example, this week we've had orders for a couple machines in the medical industry doing medical type parts, uh, but there's also aerospace parts where you have a, a, a lot of complexity in smaller connector fittings, those types of parts. Uh, than the general pneumatics, hydraulics, general engineering. So it's a good all-rounder as well. And you sold machines this week already, uh, still early in the week. We've already, you've already moved some kit. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it's been nice. Uh, the, that's the 26 uh, size models. So yeah, well, it's an early start, but it's good. Yeah. And, and you mentioned the active uh, chip breaker software. Let, let's just touch on that before we close. Uh, why is this becoming such a, a popular thing? Well, active chip break, it, Although, okay, it's breaking the chips like it says, but the wide implications of that means that you're running the machine uh, for longer periods without manning. Uh, it, it gives people opportunity to run, you know, through a night shift now that they can use a swarf conveyor where if before, say, plastics, as an example, you couldn't do that. It, it swarf would tangle in the, in the conveyor. So now the small chips can be handled better. It's meaning not necessarily needing high pressure for just breaking chips up because the software is doing that so it takes away another cost to the machine and another running uh, uh, setup that you have to do. Is it applicable to all materials though? There's not anything we haven't been able to use it on at the moment. Um, some materials you don't need to use the, the, the ACB so great um, but the ones that you do, plastics, aluminium, some of the stringier um, stainlesses and special steels then ideal. Uh, when you're at shows like this John, what, what sort of manufacturers should be coming to visit you? Uh, if you, if you could summarise an ideal, an ideal user of your technology? 
anything really up to 36 millimeter that's uh, primarily from bar material uh, on the turning side and then on the milling side smaller parts with high complexity high value so yeah those those two categories and i know we've also got some more videos coming out on our channel uh, very soon because we've been over to switzerland we've got some new machines coming out some new developments as well so it's quite exciting times for you this year isn't it yes yeah we're looking looking forward to having the new products coming on stream the new swiss deco um, with, with with the sales price and, and putting that into the market so yeah very exciting year ahead good times ahead thank you very much john Thanks, Paul. You're welcome.